<laughs> all right let's get back to work shall we all right so we have a whole day to waste but also we need to find the soul gem and to do that we need to go to soul's time oh but i can't travel to soul's time in my current state i i don't think that would be a very very good idea yeah good so what do i do in balmora for a day You know, if I was uh, low level, I would spend the whole day singing in the inn, making a fortune, but, but now it's not as appealing, is it? Also, I'm so slow. I'm gonna sleep, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm more on frolic montage. <laughs> Maybe next time. Um, I could. No, but I'm tiny, defenseless. I'm not. I'm not gonna travel anywhere. Unless I summon my companions. Aren't you a set? I was going to say, I can go to Fort Moonmouth, see if I can actually get my promotion both for the Imperial Legion and the Imperial Cult. But it's just too dangerous. Hello, Deandre. Oh, I can't even perform because I can't even equip my loot. Three blessings. Unbelievable, I'm actually gonna have to rent a bed. Hopefully, there won't be anything attacking me while I rest. We'll see how it goes. Stand on a box and dance. No, somebody already did that in town, and I, I like to do my original thing. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna be lazy. I knew it. You wake, you hear something and sense the presence of another nearby. And I got a journal update. Yes, okay, at least. Um, how am I going to survive that? Am I any good? Yeah, I am killing it. Look at me go. pretty good with my dagger okay it's a glass dagger so it's not the flimsiest of daggers uh, short blade 12 okay yes but they weren't two feet tall you know if I could wear my loot I would totally perform oh, friend. How does the and because I am a bard when I entertain the patrons, all the, the only option that I have is to actually play the lute and sing. If I had chosen the, the package of the acrobat or the... I have acrobat, shadow dancer, jester, then I would have the option to dance, I would have the option to tell a joke, but I didn't. So I don't have these options. What was she looking at? She was looking on the floor. What was she looking at, you think? Right. Ready to jump. Again. Three blessings indeed. You want to talk to me and fix me. Right understanding. Welcome. 
A cappella? I can't, I can't. I need my loot to perform. Um, is it about the special? No, it's about... GT, Aaron, Necromancer, Never... Huh, which topic is it gonna be? Not the errand. Not the duties. About this guy? No. Did I dream the journal entry? What was the journal entry I had? That's that's really odd. I, yeah, I could have tried her name. I mean, let's go through all of it because now basically I've tracked, I've lost track of time because of my rest that was disrupted by the. No, of course I can't teach well. I am not a necromancer. What about that? Nerevar, Nerevarine, Nerevarine Cult, Nerevarine Prophecies, Peak Star. Oh, she knows of Peak Star. The Boyfriend Reward. Sure, I have a hundred gold. Now she really likes me. That's me. Teach disciplines. I don't think I can teach her anything. Okay, I don't have the topic yet. We're gonna waste a bit more time. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by, Norm. Hope you have a, a nice Monday or what's left of it. And uh, and I'll see you around on stream, on Discord. Journal has been updated. She's finished making the stuff. Okay. All right. Whew. Thank you again for getting my special mortar and vessel back. I hope those iron skeletons didn't give you too much trouble. Nah, not at all. Remember to apply the grease before eating the bread. The other way around and the cursed dagger will simply, simply shrink you again. Uh -uh, we don't want that. When here's a special glove to catch the dagger when it falls from your hand. As you must not touch the dagger again. Okay. So, grease first, bread second. See you very soon, Norm. Which one is the grease? I mean, I assume it's a, it's a miscellaneous item. Maybe it's in the form of a potion. Crunchy bread? Is that is that the bread? The actual bread? I'm not sure if I'm looking for a miscellaneous item, an ingredient, or a potion. Willow enter stone flower. Crush gold, gold granite ectoplasm, crunchy bread. We'll keep that. My bread, black enter. Crunchy, not crusty. Not <laughs> crusty. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't sound so nice, does it? That is the glove to pick up the dagger. That's great, but I don't see the. Is that it? Oh, I see. They set it up as a weapon. So first, the grease. You apply the grease and catch the cursed dagger as it falls from your hand in the special glove. Done. And then, the cereling bread. You don't want to, uh, if you did, you couldn't fool. Oh, is that what I want to do? The cursed class dagger is no longer welded to my hand. I have an idea. If I wait to eat the cereling bread, so I'm still small and hold a normal glass dagger, it will still appear to Berenius that I have that I am still cursed. At that time, perhaps I can fool him into taking the glove with the cursed dagger in it. <sighs> I 
think that's pretty petty. I wish the I wish the mod would allow me to not do that. Also, I guess I guess I'm tired. I am a member. I believe I am a member of the guild. Just never did any job for them. Oh, just uh yes. Just enough to verify that there are actually two fake soul gems in the game, at least. I am now rested. I'm just thinking that I need to find a regular glass dagger, don't I? If I don't have a glass dagger, I can't pull the prank. Let's see if I can get one. I don't have one at home. That that much is uh, quite sure. And so I have to run around. Still tiny, tiny, tiny. Hey, Meldor. Would you happen to have plenty of grass daggers? Okay. And one costs 3,000. I mean, I know I'm rich, kind of rich, but please, what is the original value? 4,000. Oh, he was already giving me a good price. <laughs> okay, let's go with that. Wow. I got a feeling I probably could. He has 4,000. Let's try that. This is worth 4,000. Let's see if I can buy it 2,800. I mean, I mercantile is one of my skills. I just never really, you know, used it. He accepts. Then I sell you one. Huh. I mean, it would take a while, but I could make you know, quite a bit of money buying and selling the same item repeatedly while increasing my mercantile but I won't do that, it's a bit tedious alright, then we want to put the real glass dagger in our hand uh, give your, given your size, perhaps he might let you have it half price. <laughs> Maybe that's what's happening there. Prices are proportional to size. And as soon as I'm fixed, you know, my height fixed, I'm going to go to my shop and drop the exquisite items that I got from uh, Millie. And then Solstein. Didn't expect to see you back, Cyrillic. Come to beg for forgiveness? Yes, I even have a gift for you. A gift for me? My, my, the pesky Cyrillic cowers to me. Hand it over. Here you go, a nice glove for you. Oh, very nice. You've outdone yourself. The glove, with the cursed dagger inside, has been removed from your inventory. Try it on, try it on. Yes, don't mind if I do. Hey, what's in here? What? How did you do this? <laughs> and now we're both tiny. How'd you like that? Can I have my bread now? <sighs> yes! But, <laughs> would you mind terribly if I... Sorry, I don't want to talk to walk on you, but... I can entertain your patrons. There we go. <sighs> yeah, you totally take a gift from someone you just cursed. Especially when it's an object that's just... Well, no, he didn't know the dagger was in there, but anyway... It's awfully convenient that you were given a glove to be able to pick it up. No oh well, oh well, oh well. 
And on that one, I would have preferred to just eat the bread without tricking him. It's just, I think it's a, it's a vicious circle. Oh, you played a joke on me, so I play a bigger joke on you. You played a bigger joke on me, let me play an even bigger joke on you. It's just... Right, now that you've made a spectacle of Benumius, could you do something useful for a change? Yeah, of course. Sean Grandmasgrub received a death threat. A note was pinned to her door, signed by a priest of some sort, saying that those that practice the dark arts are marked for death. The guild guide of the Mage's Guild may have a lead, as perhaps the priest used to use that form of travel to come to Balmora. Please check this out and find out what's going on. For once, we're actually helping a girlfriend of hers. An orcish girlfriend of hers. She really gets around, honestly. Um, da -da -da. How did you hide a glass dagger inside a glove? Well, the dagger was tiny because I was shrunk. I think that's it. And how do you put it on without cutting half his fingers off? Maybe it would have been a better scenario. All right, let's um, let's help our friend at the Guild of Mages. We want to talk to the Guild Guide, right? Or Silk Strider. I talk to the Guild Guide first, seeing as it's on the way. Three blessings, friend. All the blessings she gives me, I have at least. 24 blessings by now. Okay. We are looking for... Dun, 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 dun. Maybe something about her? No. A strange priest. Can't say I remember any strange priest that came to Balmora. I'll be on the lookout though. Okay. Still straighter it is. How will you manage with these unsolved mysteries? I don't know, Onion, I don't know. Sleep is going to elude you for for weeks, really. I'm going to my shop. It's on the way, okay? And maybe I'll have even more money in that chest. Look at that, she's making more clothes. I'd be happy to talk. My pleasure, really. All right. Common pants, common shirt, then I have a few more expensive clothes, and even some exquisite clothes. And we've made more than 200 septims. Look at that, finally we have customers who dress properly. Spare a few moments if you care to talk. I think she's very, very confused. Anyway, that's one thing done. You lost onion. Sorry. Let's talk to the Silks Trader. And I will go to Fort Moonmouth. See if I can get my promotions. Strange priest. With a bit of luck, he's going to tell me that he saw the strange priest walk towards Fort Moonmouth. That'd be perfect. Ah, oh, yes, I remember a strange priest that came here a few days ago, armed to the teeth. She's a donor, like me. You will probably find her at the temple. All right, that's on the other side of town, isn't it? We make a special trip just for you. Say hello, friend. Mm, since I am now you know, reasonably fast. I'm gonna do the Jenga with you, but yes. I'm running real quick to, to the fort. Because I think I can have at least one of these two promotions. And getting a Getting a promotion is totally worth running back and forth on a road you've walked on many, many times over. There is a typo in Telvani. 
You think that Telvani filled... Oh, the air coffers, yeah. I'll have to fix that. Maybe even... No, I can't fix it right now. But I will. Hopefully I won't forget. We'll see. We'll see. Wow. Three Imperial archers fighting the cliff racer. And they weren't doing a great job. <laughs> it was almost at full health. Hydrate. Thanks, Onion. And save. I made a new typo, especially for this save. All right. Please promote me, promote me, promote me. You are a good soldier, Aureliana. I am proud to give you the rank of Knight Errant. And this Quirus and Greaves, Imperial Templar Knight Quirus, not the sort of thing I can wear, but it's still nice. Can I have more promotions? You're a good soldier. You follow orders and requirements. What am I missing this time? I'm going to have to practice with the blade a bit more, I guess. Imperial Legion. One at 60, two at 20. So blunt and long blade, I'll have to practice. I can do that at home. I have a, a mannequin. And the priest. Can you promote me? No, I don't want to pr no. I don't want to promote him. He cannot promote me. And isn't there a practice dummy outside here? Mm, no. We can have something to drink. Yeah, Night Bachelor. That's me. I'm both a knight and a bachelor. But just for the sake of... And the greaves. I don't think they'll be prettier. I'm gonna keep my dark cuirass. Back to Balmora, we are going to the temple. Aha! I know, I know who is the Domna in the temple. Where am I going? Not to Balmora. I know where she is, because I did see her uh, with, a, with a glass helmet and I was wondering, I was wondering uh, who she was and she had nothing to tell me. Now I know. I just hope, I uh, already picked, just hope she's not going to start a fight in, uh, in the temple. Oh, I did aim properly. Yay me. Scarvenger. Okay. I definitely will have to save before I talk to her. Because if I need to fight her, well, it might be a little tricky. We'll see. Aren't you a I am, aren't I? That's what she said, okay? Jenga tower is still up. And I believe she's up there. Yeah. I'm listening. You're okay. listening, yeah. 
Will you listen to reason? Let's find out. What can you do for me? Well, let's talk about the death threat. Only those practicing the dark arts must fear judgment and judgment is death. What if I had a friend whom received? Okay, I'm not gonna judge typos. We know I make a lot of them. A death threat from a strange priest. Then I'd say your friend's name is Sean Graham Musgrove. Are you her champion? No. <laughs> No, like I said, if I had a friend, yes, I am. But I like the option that you're given. It's a, it's a nice one. Hey, Wagonator, welcome to the stream. Yes, very well then. Meet me in the Vivek Arena pit. Okay, at least she's not going to fight me now. That's good. That's definitely... Uh, that's definitely are there any mod in the game I assume you're asking yes let me uh, get you the mod list there you'll find the mod list for for this game there's quite a few mods so it's not overly modded honestly for for a morrowing game it's rather decent and yes by the way I completely forgot that one of the mods I have is temple travel or temple transport speechcraft brilliant All right. Vivek Haifen, that sounds good. I need to go there. I need to go there and also I can take the opportunity. Hello. To Leno. Uh, services, no, I, I don't need any of your services. Uh, can I, I don't know, give you clothes? Who are you? Disciple of the temple, assistant to the... Oh. <laughs> uh, the mod list doesn't show things like textures, yes, unfortunately, but then uh, the textures, I pretty much followed the step guide, pretty much. So you'll have them there. Um, this is bad, I mean, she's the assistant to the arch cannon and she walks around in underwear. Right, 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 right. What is this about? Oh, nothing, nothing. It's not like me to comment on habits. So we'll leave it at that. I am in Vivek and I need to go to Vivek Arena. And there we are. E FPS all the way down. But it's totally worth it. So this is St. Olm's and I believe the arena is the next one. Unless that's Tilvani Arena, we'll see. <laughs> True, I mean... You got weird elbows, dude. Again, not commenting, not commenting. It is true that I'm really not the one to judge. This is the arena. And we want to go into the pit. Look, another lady, lady, pillow lady. Well, pillow Khajiit. Okay, I believe if I go that way. And from there I'll find a way to the pit. Because if I go all the way up, I will be a spectator. Holding cell, cannon work fighters quartered it's not what I need is it arena let's go outside arena bits okay what do I do I'm gonna I want to try it solo first and if I really can't beat her with my songs <laughs> then I'll summon my companions and um you know, see how it goes. You pick a blank. Oh, sorry, onion. Then again, was it last week? Last week there were 
there were five uh, games that were given